Very inspiring yes. report and uh, very appropriate as we are here at the end of uh, Black History Month where we've had some reports throughout and uh, no matter what uh, anyone's political persuasion may be, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's so true just to say what a milestone Absolutely. that is for um, the first black president of the United States. And, and Maggie uh, joins us in the studio now. Thank you for pulling that together, well Maggie. Done. Great you, history. Maggie. Well Thank done. You. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure it must have been uh, something for you to, to visit that museum, to walk yeah. through and, and to, to just uh, absorb. Yeah, well, you know, born and raised in, in Toronto, I'm a Canadian, and I didn't know half of what I was taught that day. And it was emotional, I mean, to see the, the uh, struggle that um, African Canadians have gone through. My parents are from the Caribbean, so their history is a little different. My family's history is a little different. But to see the struggle that African Canadians have made, and you know, there was a lot of chatter when Barack Obama was elected about, you know, why are Canadians so happy about this? This is Canadian history, not just black history. Mm -hmm. This is Canadian history. And I think that's what makes Buxton and so many other black settlements, there were a lot across, mm -hmm. across the country, so important. And I think everybody should make an effort to, to visit these places because it reminds us of where we've come and reminds us of where we need to go. Yeah. I think it really is a, a, an exclamation mark on human history, mm -hmm. how far we have come. And you know, I, as an American transplanted in Canada now and a Canadian citizen as well, I still have my American and Canadian. Um, you know what, my hat is off to the country of Canada mm. and how, um, she opened her arms to receive those fugitive black slaves mm -hmm. back uh, over a hundred years ago that were just actually just running for their lives, wanting their yeah. family to live in freedom mm -hmm. as God intended all men and women to live yeah. in freedom. And Canada had its own struggles with slavery and that's something that uh, we don't always focus on. We had slavery here, we had segregation here. Some people would still say there are segments of that now, but uh, you're right and I mean Canada got to the point where we were able to open our arms and allow many fugitive slaves to come and live and many went back. It was something we alluded to in the piece many uh, traveled back to the states and they fought in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. uh, they were still Americans or, or considered American um, and so they, they fought in the Civil War so that their family and their friends that were still there and mm -hmm. still in the states, still slaves, could have a chance at freedom, which I, I think is amazing. I mean to leave freedom and to go back where you could be taken back, you could be uh, reclaimed by your master. Yeah. In order to save people, uh, your friends and family, I, that, that's amazing yeah. to me, yeah. yeah. Wow. A lot of uh, amazing things, heroism and, uh, and sacrifice, as mm -hmm. you say, that, that took mm -hmm. place. And so Maggie, um, any other kind of surprises that jumped out at you as you were, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as well, you were putting this piece together? Well, Frederick Douglass, who was known as one of the great abolitionist, um, uh, kind of a civil rights um, mover and shaker, uh, he visited uh, Buxton in the early days and he was just amazed at the fact that this black settlement w was actually functioning. He was he was proud that, I mean, as a black man, he was proud to see that there was a society, a community of people who were helping each other. You know, there was a part in, in the report where Shannon talks about how um, many of the people that came, they would purchase the land for $2.50 per acre, which is amazing, yeah. amazing deal. They'd be given 10 years to pay it off. And so they, they were able to work together. They would farm the land it, and it was really a community. Everybody looked after everybody. And I think mm -hmm. that's the amazing thing about it. You know, in, in the story of Reverend, Reverend King and how he decided he, you know, he had lived through America and seen so many slaves um, and he didn't understand slavery. And so that was his goal was to come to Canada and to create mm -hmm. the settlement where black people could live free and they could be given an opportunity and given a chance and to show that they could live just like everybody else could live that they could survive and there was a lot of hostility at that time a lot of uh, a lot of people in the surrounding area were afraid that you know all of a sudden you had this black group coming in and living uh, in the settlement but you know he still as a as a white man he still said you know what these people deserve a, mm -hmm. a chance as well which is amazing and that museum is there to this day now where yeah. is buxton buxton exactly. is about 20 minutes outside of chatham so and okay. about a half an hour outside of Windsor. So southwestern it's kind of southwestern Ontario. Yes, definitely southwestern. Okay. Fairly close to the border of the U.S. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and and uh, you know it's funny because a lot of the slaves we don't realize that they had to walk 
all of that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, people were coming from the southern parts of, of the U.S. Mm -hmm. And that's why, as you said, Ron, there, you know, you had places that were close to the border that were easy access for a lot of these slaves. Well, Maggie, there may be some uh, people that that's the first time they knew there was a museum yeah. like that at yeah. Buxton. And maybe some are wondering, how, how do I learn more? about it. Well, you can, you can go to our website, crossroads.ca, and I'm also preparing a segment where you'll get to see a lot more of uh, the museum in, Buc in Buxton and the school. So that will be on our website, but we'll, we'll let people know when that, when that comes uh, or is put on our website. But we're preparing that so that people can see more of, of Buxton and that history. And our website is actually undergoing a whole transformation. Yeah. So in the coming months, you're going to keep tuning back into crossroads.ca to see all the additions that are being added there. Yeah. Great. Maggie, thank you thank for that you. inspiring report. Well done. Thank you. Uh,